Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of the One Cheney Family Podcast. I'm your host, DSPX900, and let's just get things started real quickly with uh, quick ball briefings. Starting things off, uh, Original Stitch is going to be releasing a new set of Pokemon shirts, which will feature Pokemon from the Hoenn region, along with face masks featuring Pokemon from Gens 2 and 3. Next up, uh, the newest Japanese TCG. TCG set was announced. I can't talk. <laughs> and this one is going to be called Eevee Heroes, which will heavily feature uh, Eevee and its evolutions. However, no release date was given as of yet. And finally, Pokemon Sword and Shield is hosting a new Meowth raid event with the chance to get a shiny Garin Meowth. And this is active now and will run until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Sunday. That covers all the quick part briefing, so let's move on to Pokemon Go real quickly, as it announced uh, a lot of details for what's going to be happening for the game during the month of May. Starting things off, uh, the Field Research Breakthrough Encounter will be Gavarian Ponyta. No bias aside. <laughs> and then, um, then the Community Day is going to be featuring Swablu, and will be taking place on the 15th of May from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. Oh, that's oh, that's just evil. I was just gonna say, Swablu in May. Yeah, that's just evil. I wasn't Pain. even th- I wasn't even thinking about the anime. <laughs> Pain. But yeah, uh, next up are two big events that will feature. One will feature Xerneas, and one will feature Ivelto. First up. Uh, Luminous Legends X. Uh, this one will feature increased spawns of Dragon and Fairy type Pokemon, and a global challenge which will have players try to catch up to 500 million Fairy type Pokemon. If this goal yeah. is, if this goal is reached, then Shiny Galarian Ponyta will be made available. Additionally, Xerneas will be featured in five star raids, and this event from runs from the 4th of May to the 17th. Following that, Im- almost immediately will be Luminous Legends Y. Uh, as of right now, uh, the only details that we have for this event are increased spawns for Dark Type Pokemon, some stuff involving Team Go Rocket, and Evolves All being in five star rates. Also for Pokemon Go, uh, the, the annual uh, paid event Go Fest was announced for its dates, which would be the 17th. Through the 18th of July, however, no details will be have been given yet. Moving on to Pokemon Masters EX, which has some big announcements of its own. First up, are the sync pair of Raihan and Daruldon have been added, and the new event was also uh, just started, called Eternal Rivals, which is a time trial event that will score players based on how quickly they complete stages and gives rewards based on their overall score. It's as of now and runs until the 16th of May. And lastly, the level cap for the game has been increased to 135. Now moving on real quickly to the Pokemon anime as another preview for next week's episode, which is going to be Ash vs. Iris, was revealed. One more week, guys. One more week. Yay! Although, I want to comment one thing about that preview. Alright. And it's the fact that there was one shot that has an Axew in it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a wild Axew. Yes, yes, what I I am. I bet it's bait, but I'm still going to. It's definitely bait because, like. It is bait. If it was Iris Axew, it would have been in her hair. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just going to go with the mindset that it is going to be hers, just so that I won't be immensely disappointed. It is definitely wild. If it was hers, it would be in her hair. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, like I said, most likely bait, but just putting that out there. (laughs) (laughs) Because, good God, (laughs) you don't want to amount to the outcry that that would come out if if that was Iris' act, too. They're hiding it for so long. Why would they show 
And uh, why would they show Iris is active in a preview if they've been hiding it for so long? Yeah, exactly. It just doesn't add up. Yeah. And finally, uh, moving on from the anime, <laughs> uh, barring uh, what else we want to talk about, uh, today marks the release date for new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> and, uh, oh, nice. and as of when I'm recording this episode, uh, my first episode of my Let's Play was already posted. And hopefully uh, I'll probably get like episode 2 or maybe even 3 up by the time I uh, this episode goes up. But we'll see. I, I see you. I see you're just plugging your own content now. <laughs> I'm just saying this is gonna be the only time that I'll be plugging my let's play of this game. I mean, you can do it whenever. It's your channel. We don't care. I know. I just, I just don't want to be plugging it while we're actually recording. But whatever. Uh, has anyone else uh, played the game yet? I haven't nope. gotten the game yet. I I don't have the game. Oh, I don't uh, have the game either. Okay. Yeah, uh, I can at least get my first impressions, considering that I've already been playing it for like an hour. I I can't get over just how pretty the game looks. It looks great. Yeah, uh, I've seen a few um, I've seen a few pictures. It yeah. Looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting bit that I noticed that uh, stick controls are actually enabled by default. Instead of uh, the driver, oh. instead of the driver control, but no, I found right? I found Wait, that I had default? all the stick control is on by default. Oh. Instead of, but it turns out uh, you can uh, use the motion controls in conjunction with the sticks. But I found that I had to adjust the sensitivity of uh, the camera control because uh, it moves way too slow, and I found myself uh, missing a lot of shots without. Especially since I'm moving the stick and uh, turning my controller a lot. But so far, that's been like my only complaint about the game. But uh, when I turn up sensitivity, it's it works really well now. Alright, that's great. Yeah, and the, and, and the game actually runs mm -hmm. in the 60 FPS when you're actually playing the stage, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. So that's pretty neat. And uh, that's pretty much all I have. I. Uh, that's where the ending of gender already, and we're not even ten minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> I got through Bro. that. I got through that pretty quickly. Hold up. All right. So I. In that case, I. Do you guys have any suggestions for what else we could talk about for today? I mean, there's still my suggestion since you know yeah, we're not even I in an hour. Nice. Yeah, we, we could do that actually. Yeah, I think we should do other suggestions. Yeah, we could definitely do that. And so, if, we, if it comes out to be too long, then we can always save the rest for next week. Yeah. Mm, exactly. Alright, so uh, what Honey was suggesting was us to give our personal rankings for the uh, English dub openings for the Pokemon anime. And... Uh, how do you guys want to do this? Or do you want to do this as like top five, top ten, what have you? Um, I mean, we have the time to do top ten. Um, um, like top five would probably just be really. Quick. That would that, that would just be. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait. I meant to like to like listen. To the theme and then give a ranking from one to ten. We can't do that. Yeah, we yeah, can, I know. Yeah, yeah we can't because of DMCA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, if we were say like doing a tier list, then maybe. But we can, again, no audio though. So we're just gonna have to. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to improvise for now. But I. Yeah. But if you guys have any, I, I said this already before we started recording, if you have any other suggestions, then uh, toss them into the, the non-voice channel. <laughs> and then uh, maybe next week we could probably follow up with uh, our favorite Japanese opening, so if you guys want. That yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, uh, oh boy. Alright, uh. Where do we type this in the podcast talk? Uh, um, dude, I would do do non-voice channel because I have the widget up for that, but not podcast talk. 
Okay, so non-voice channel. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, I might as well talk about I uh, talk about them as, as I go. So first up for me, my number one pick, Battlecry Stand Up. That was just amazing. Uh, and it's it's powerful. <laughs> that was just powerful, and uh, it's it just gets off a very exciting tone, and uh, it it's just cool. After that, what, this is harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, that's I mean, why. Yeah, I, that's why I'm, I'm having. I, I I mean, my top ten is right there. Yeah, I, I see that. I <laughs> really killed. I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, number two would, for me would definitely be Advanced Battle. Yeah! Ooh, nice. What point is that again? Is that, uh, that, um, that was the it's third... It's the song that we sing to, oh, Kiyomi. That's, that, that's the stream. Yeah! Yeah, as AG has some really good dumb openings. It really does. They really do. AG has... Every one of AG's dub openings is Pog. Um, Fight me. Wait, what? Well, I mean, I, I, you aren't wrong. I agree. <sighs> oh, God. Go. Uh, this is tough. Ch I changed it. <laughs> I'm All already right. typing it. Already I'm having an identity crisis. I've, <laughs> I've only typed in once. Like, my yeah, favorite one. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I already, I already have, uh, I already got up to number 8, so I might as well keep talking. So, uh, number 3 for me would be Sinnoh League Victors. Yeah. Nice. And, the, and spoiler alert, uh, the DP rap is not going to be on here. Boo. 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 <laughs> it's, what was that? Yeah. It's just okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Kyle. Continue. It's just okay. No, it's great. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Kyle. After that, I would be this dream. Last one. Is that we'll stream never die. Last one, right? Oh, that was. Wait, wait, oh no, this, this stream is a bad challenge. Advanced Battle is unbeatable. Yeah, Advanced Battle is unbeatable. Oh, okay. Alright, next up uh, is actually Adventures in Unova. Nice. I really like the black and white dub openings. They're really underrated. That's honest, that's underrated. that's honestly the best part of the black and white dub for me. And I'm not even sorry. Wow. Bruh. Uh. All right. After that, just missing out on the top five for me is is actually the journey starts today. The English dub opening for journeys. Oh yeah, the it, journey yeah. starts today. <laughs> All right. Then at number seven, I actually have Battle Dimension on there. Ooh, nice. All right. All right. For number eight, I I put the Jodo journeys on there. Yeah. I've, I've been thinking about that song for a while. It's so good. It I is. Know. It's so catchy. I feel uh, like I need to listen to these theme songs again. Yeah, me too. To see, to see where I would place uh, them in my list. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, we should have listened to them before we recorded. Oh well. Wait, wait, wait. I'm done. The hardest I've laughed in a while. But yeah, that, yeah. that's a total that's a totally valid list. Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, Alright, I Oh yeah, the DP rap is in my honorable mention. Yeah, I see that. No. Okay, and then I still haven't finished my list. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright. Number nine for me is Master Quest. Nice. <laughs> Lastly, number ten for me is Battle Frontier. Poggers. That's the season yes. that's the season I grew up with. Yeah, same. Um but it's actually not on my list because the rest are so good. 
It was, yeah. it was almost on my yeah. list. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I should have put it in my honorable mentions. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so I'm just going to copy and paste my my list into here for a little refresher. There we go. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that's my whole list. <laughs> I could okay, keep... Okay, I, could... I got mine now. All right. Uh, let me just look at it. Man, this turned out to be a lot shorter of a, of a discussion than I thought. Yeah. Maybe, maybe my singing was for the best. <laughs> oh, no. Ow, okay, boy. there we go. All right. Unbeatable at number one. Taste. Uh, OG, I'm surprised that it's in your top three. The OG theme was always my favorite until, like, recently. Oh, okay. Okay. It's iconic, so though. Iconic. That, 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 it's that, so iconic. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, the end of the I just missed out. I think it would have been number 11 if I was doing the top 15. <clears throat> totally fair. Like, it's definitely a good song. The Outcry Stand Up at number 3. Taste! Taste. Yeah, that that's another good one too. This dream in top in the top five. Nice. Uh Battle Dimensions and Battle Frontier. <laughs> awesome. I'm surprised to see Rival Destinies on here. Rival Destinies is so good. It is. Yeah. So underrated. Yeah, all the black and white themes are like, to be honest. If you listen to the full theme song of Rival Destinies. Literal chef's kiss. Yeah, amazing. It, yeah, it is. I, I'm, 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 I remember listening to the full version a couple times. It's pretty good. Like the vocals are just so good. No so one catchy. ever, talk, no one talks about it. Seriously. Yeah, it's so catchy. Seriously, I, I get goose bumps every time I hear. Like that's my personal things. favorite, um, um, English opening theme from Unova. That's totally valid. Yeah, same. Same. I think I put it at number two, actually. But I named it. For some reason, it's not always black and white. What the fuck, Sam? <laughs> it's not always black. Oh, but no, no singing. Is. No singing. <laughs> oh, right. It's so catchy. You guys are starting to sound like a broken record. <laughs> Okay, um, <coughs> so Callum, have you finished your list yet? Yes, I put my first member. <coughs> what was that? No, so honey, uh, your message is completely accurate. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, um, are, 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 are we on my list now, or? Yeah, you're, you're the only one that has not said your list yet. Okay. Um, what, and number one, Battle Cry Stand Up, obvious reason. Taste! Poggers. Number Base. two, Battle Dimension, obvious reasons. Ooh. Yeah. Base. Number three, uh, Sonally Victors. Yeah. Number four, uh, Unbeatable. Yeah. Yes. Number five, Jojo Journeys. That's a yes. good one. Yes. Number six, Matter Quest. Yes. Number seven, The Stream. Yes. Number eight. Wait, band. He was saying that for everything. <laughs> yeah, yes, you were. Yes. It was awesome. Um, uh, 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 number so eight as as just purely um, a band. You know. Oh yeah. Okay. I derp. You already gave your list in the non voice channel. I'm stupid. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Um, nine as the OG theme. Ten as the yeah. TV. Yeah. And, and rivaled it, rivaled it, rivaled Destiny's as as a very close eleven. Uh, 11. Oh wow, nice. Anything uh, else we want to talk about? Uh, I feel like we could probably do like another ranking. Uh, okay. Of what? I um, we could probably shift over to the games and I. Wait, so I didn't say mine. Wait, what? 
I mean, you you already, I, I mean, you already sent yours in the non voice channel. Wait, honey, did you say your list already? You I know, did. Yeah, because I know we all did send our list to the non voice channel, but did we all actually vocally talk about them? Um. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll go through mine quickly. Um, unbeatable is the best, you know. Good God tier theme song. Yeah. Okay. Number two, OG theme. I mean, it's iconic. Battle Cry, I mean, obviously, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'm going this really quickly. <laughs> Pokemon Johto. Yeah, it's a number four. Like, it's great. This stream, also great. Battle Frontier, also great. <laughs> Just say, uh, also great for every single one. Uh, everything is great on this list. <laughs> yeah, everything is great. There you go, there's my input. <laughs> okay, uh, Sam, do you want to skim over yours real quickly? Sino League, one, number one is Sino League Victors. Ooh. I love every DP song, but uh, Sino League Victors is the best one. All right. Number two, Rival Destinies. I don't know why I named it. It's not always black and white, so skip <laughs> that out. See, that's the name of the first black and white theme song, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be Rival Destinies here. I don't know why. Uh, okay. Anyway, Rival Destinies. Um, underrated. Every best wishes uh, dub song is very underrated. Fact. I think, but I think Rival Destinies is easily the best one fact yes number three uh, unbeatable uh. <laughs> number three is unbeatable <laughs> because <laughs> wait, wait what happened know. yeah confused. i don't know i don't know i laugh because he edited the message I don't know, dude. And it's just, and it's just not <laughs> it's, working. It's just, it's just like a really funny man. <laughs> it's just not working, Grim. <laughs> what's wrong with me? It looks like a mess. Oh. My computer is doing me dirty today. Oh. Jesus Christ. Anyway, number three, we have Unbeatable. Um, AG's dub songs. I think are pretty good, but Unbeatable is the best one, but I like all of them. Hoggers! Yes, number four, Battle Dimension. Pretty good. Ah, fuck it, it's Pog. Number five, Master Quest. Pog. Number six, the OG theme. I I iconic. Pog. Um, the... It's, it's the, yeah, it's iconic. That's it. Number seven, Battle Cry slash Stand Up. Amazing. <laughs> I agree. Number eight, <laughs> uh, Jyoto uh, Journeys. Another catchy theme. Another great song. Yes. Number Number nine, advanced, pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. Number s number ten, master quest. Yeah, it's pretty good too. Nice. Honorable all mentions great DP list. rap. Honorable mentions the DP rap. DP rap is my guilty pleasure. Nice. We stand. Okay. Yes, we stand. All right, that's my list. Awesome. So, do you guys all have anything else that you want to talk about? Oh wait, did uh, I didn't I already add something else? I forget. Oh, we, I, we were about to talk about the champion stuff too. The what? The champion themes, remember? Because we were gonna shift to the oh, games. Oh, right, right. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go find my tier list. Didn't we do this together? Yeah, we did that. We did it together. Nice. I think we, I think we both agreed on everything on that tier list, right? 
Yeah, because like I said, we both uh, we both did it. Yeah. I didn't know. I think I realized that we were doing the game themes today as well. Um. I mean, to be to be fair, this was something that I came up with on the fly. Yeah. yeah. It was like a last minute thing. Like I literally, as we were in the middle of recording. Wait. So, uh, so was it just champion themes? Yes, just champion themes. Does, do, do, does Kukui count? I, uh, I mean, I technically don't I have could, it. I don't I have it. I don't have it saved as Kukui. I just have it saved as a uh, battle at the summit because that's what it's named as in the uh, in the Sun and Moon soundtrack. Okay. Uh, um, I did the same theme when you battle how uh, 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 an alternative moon because I've forgotten. It is not. Here's a slightly so, different in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Okay, so there's two separate themes. Okay. There you go. They're they're in my list. Nice. Like uh, like uh, like there there's about a million things in S tier, but they're all just so good. So. Yeah. Okay. So I might as well, uh, I might as well go first then. I might as well start with the honorable mentions first. On uh, so starting things off, we have uh older. It's okay at best. Like it's a decent song, but it feels like yeah, a, if the beginning it's whatever is, for me. The intro is great, but uh the rest of the song is just it's just kind of forgettable, and yeah, uh, it's it. Kind of does the, uh, kind of doesn't disservice. Yeah. Uh, next up is Lance and Red from Gen Two. I love the song, but I. Uh, but it feels it feels like something's missing. Like uh, I don't know. The, like it's definitely it's aged well, but I uh, I feel like the Hardcore Soul Silver version just does it a hell of a lot better. I. Uh, on uh, next in, uh, in honorable mentions, uh, we have Steven's Aura theme. I like it, but uh, I feel like it's just trying too much at once. It's a little... I don't know. Like it, it feels like the intensity was lost with this one. Like, I don't know. There's just something... There, it feels like there was something missing from this rendition. Then after that was... Uh, then on uh, the Gen 6 version of World Champion, which is still being used today. Uh, great song, and I like the fact that it extended the ending a little bit. But uh, other than that... um. Much like Steven, uh, it feels like this song is just a little trying a little too much at once. I uh, trace, I uh, it does not hold the candle for for blue. Like I don't know. I get the song itself is good, but in the context, I uh, considering that this is the final battle theme for one of the weakest rivals in the series, eh, kind of ruins it for me. And then uh, Gen One's champion theme, I uh, it's iconic, but I uh, I personally find this version to be a little overrated. But uh, fun fact, actually, uh, I finally finished my first ever playthrough of Gen One this past week, last weekend actually. And uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I uh, the grind took way too long, but I. Uh, the battles were nowhere near as brutal as I thought they were going to be, even though I was very underleveled. Even after all that grinding, I did. Yeah, I can't comment because, you know, I still haven't played Kanto. <laughs> Alright, uh, then... Uh, Black 2 Black 2 renditions of Blue, Lance, and Steven. No good, but I uh, did not hold quite hold the candle to their originals. Uh, Cynthia in Black and White. I meant to... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's just a it's just a faster version of the original with a couple of instruments swapped around. That's pretty much all I have to say from there. So uh, getting to the actual list, and number ten for me is the Blasty Run Two version of Cynthia. This one, Tana holy shit, oh, I have uh, I have that as my number ten as well. Oh wow! <laughs> like it's just uh, I feel like this was the best uh classic rendition in my opinion. Like the sound, the eh. the Black Two One Two sound font definitely fits this song the best, in my opinion. Eh. That, like it just like the original just does it so much better. Oh, absolutely. Like it's good on its own, but I. Uh, Wait. But, 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 
but spoiler alert, we will be seeing... I find it funny how people love characters that they hate in real life, but hate characters that they find likable in real life. Bruh. <laughs> wow. Alright, I... Uh... I mean, like, that's just, just Pokemon fans about, about rivals. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, then... Uh... It is. Alright, then uh, number nine for me on this list is uh, the Gen 3 version of Steven. I've always loved this song. Uh, it's intense as hell, and I think it really sets the mood for Steven perfectly. Then after that is the Heart Girl Soul Silver Champion theme. What a... I would say this is a perfect remaster. Like, it really sets the mood on... It's intense as hell, and I... It's, it doesn't get any better than this, uh, in my opinion. But I do have another remake song that's just a little bit higher. But we'll get to that. Because uh, number seven is the Black and White World Champion theme. This one... I have that for my number seven, too. This one packs a punch. Much better than the Gen 6 version. But uh, anyway, uh, number six. I have Leon on here. <laughs> I nice. think this song is underrated in my opinion. Like, it's not the best champion theme, but it's just, it's a fun song. Like, it fits him. Yeah, like, it, I would imagine that this, this song is playing from his perspective. Yeah. And I think that's why it's so, like, so fanfare and stuff like that. It's not even a word, <laughs> but whatever. Like, it just, it just gives off that kind of vibe. Uh, and, uh, starting at the top five is uh, Fireweave Green's champion theme. As of right now, this is probably my favorite uh, remake champion theme right now. Like, it takes the original mm. and, and just makes it so much better. Definitely. Like, it's intense. It gives the vibe. The stakes are high. And you're just about to end Blue's whole career and one last battle. And it's just, it's perfect. I absolutely love it. And number four, I I placed Iris on here. Always love this. Iris theme is so good. Oh, oh it God. is absolutely oh, incredible. God. It's a so catchy. It's night and day compared to Alter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. And not to mention the special intro animation before you even go into the battle. Oh, yes. What an entrance. Mm. What an entrance. It's just... Chef's kiss. It's just awesome. All right. Number three, uh, I have Diantha at number three. I've always defended the song. This one's been a favorite of mine ever since I first heard it and when I first played X and Y. It's a really good song. Yeah, it is really yeah, good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, like, I put it in S tier because it's a really good song. Honestly, Diantha just an, it's, it's just an underrated character. And right? I really hate, I really yeah. hate how they screwed didn't up you, the anime. Didn't you hate Diantha? I used to, yeah. Mainly because of, of her anime portrayal, but like never, but like now I'm just, but like recently I've been thinking, yeah, no, the anime screwed her up. Yeah, but this is the game version too. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Alright, uh, number two is Battle at the Summit. What a. Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. What a freaking song. That. This song is incredible. I. Oh yeah, that yeah, that is actually yeah, that was like an an easy F tier for me. Oh, it yeah, it gives me chills every time I listen to it, and brings me so many vivid memories of Sun and Moon. Like it, this feels like a, a finale, and I just it I love does. I love that mm. it incorporated parts of Sun and Moon's title theme in here. Just yeah, yeah, like, that's great. That's like it, it's again playing from your perspective. You're the champion, so you must exactly. have so you must have a celebratory song to go along with it. And finally, and number one, Cynthia from Diamond and Pearl, instant classic, instant classic. It's set as my ringtone for a reason. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and oh my god, I am seriously hoping the song does not get ruined for the in brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Okay, but this was my original list. I originally had Hal at number five, but uh, the tier list didn't even have Hal as an option, so I had to sacrifice him. But uh, he would have definitely made the list if uh, 
if he was there. Like, like, can you let me go over it? Because, like, I definitely haven't thought about it. Okay, then you can go for it. Go for it. Yeah, all right. Let, While let's you start. do that, Callum, sorry, I'm going to redo mine in the meantime, but I will still be in ears. Okay. okay. Um, well, like, this hasn't, like, these aren't really in any particular order. I, I just put the put the ones that I really love in S tier and the ones that I love a tiny bit less in an A tier. Okay. If, okay. if it's like a remix of the same song, they're, they're probably in the same place that that the that the original is. So yeah, um, Leon, A tier because honestly, it doesn't. To me, it's a good song, but it doesn't quite feel feel like a champion theme. Like to me, like. Like if if you're looking for a champion theme in Sword and Shield, pe pe theme seems much more ap appropriate for me at least. Like peony theme just gives off like more champion champion vibes in the theme, like to me in my opinion. And like Leon is, is still my favorite champion. Like it's just I don't quite quite think the theme reflects. I guess. Um, not not as not as even a bad theme. The Trace one and, and Let's Go and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee it, it feels pretty grand, like I like the orchestral feel of it. Um that's about it. Um, cause it still cause it still doesn't doesn't hold a candle to the other canto themes. P uh, 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 you, uh, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um World champion theme themes kind of meh on them to be honest. Like they're definitely not bad. It's just I don't know. Not really a massive fan of, of just of the of, of the world champion themes. Um, blue, um, uh, black and white two blue. It's for the same. They're for the same reason that red that that red that red that that, that red blue yellow blue and. Bad, bad red leaf and bad red leaf green blur there there it's a really fucking good theme it's like probably like the top of it here um because it's just that goddamn good um and then, and then older there too it's okay yeah it really just is okay yeah um right uh, uh, up to S tier, uh, 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 Sun and Moon, probably re really high S tier. Yeah. Like, I've got these in, chron in, chron in chronological order rather than any sort of structured list, but like, yeah, really high S tier for me. Ora Steven is there for the same reason that RSE Steven and, Bl and Black and White 2 Steven is here. Um. I I really I I really like the theme. It, it's really good. Um, S and Y really really underrated. Dad, I just I just it's just an underrated character. Um, that part I've realised in the last two months, but yes. Um, Cynthia. Cynthia themes. Easily top of it, easily top of S tier. Um. Um. Oh yeah, Lance and Red. Almost off better because because I, I grew up on Hard Gold Soul Silver, so that theme just has just basically just that. No, no, fuck it. I like the I like the the Joto um champion theme more than more than that even Cynthia's. I just love how grand it feels. Um, Iris, incredible. It, it is really fucking fun, and that just really fits Iris. Yeah. Yeah, um, I agree. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Could I could have talked about like about about like all the rest, and like uh, 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 through like the, the the other ones. So yeah, so yeah, I'm done. All right. So I'm assuming you're still working. Oh, Sam has his done. All right. You want to talk? Finally want... reworked mine for the better. All right. Do you want to talk about yours then? <clears throat> A little bit, yeah. First of all, uh, I would like to say uh, there are no bad champion themes. 
Yeah, Even some of the weaker no, ones no. that I have put in here, they still have something, something that is oomph to them. Like there, there is something that could be considered listenable. But um, yeah, so like um, I put Alder in in the C tier because, like what Kyle and Callum said. Uh, I just listened to it, and it's just so forgettable, man. It's not bad. It's not even horrible. It's just so forgettable, especially for champion. Bad. It's just yeah, like you said, forgettable. It's just okay. Yeah. I think my problem with it is that first of all, it doesn't really doesn't really stand on its own when it comes to like theming of what I think of a champion theme song. Like, um... Like, it's kind of disappointing, what? especially for the black and white games, which are so good. Yeah, Yeah, exactly, because, like, uh, yeah, like you said, Kyle, the intro is... It's something that gets you, like, hooked immediately, but then, like, ten seconds later, it kind of tricks you. And then you get this uh, whatever the heck they put into it. So, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It just it's not it's not bad. It's just disappointing, and it's not mm. even. It's probably the last thing I would think of when I think of a champion theme song. So yeah, here it is for me. I feel like, like with Alder, they didn't really need to put in as much work for the champion theme because he wasn't the kind of the battle at the end. At the end of the game, he wasn't the end uh, of your journey. That was end. Yeah. Um, so, so um, with Alder, it, it, it was more, it was, it was more just let's give all the grandio uh, grandiosity and. And, and and finality to like end theme for good service. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what did you say? Nothing. No, no, what did you say, honey? <laughs> I didn't hear what she just said. Okay. Honey, honey, what did you say? I didn't say. <laughs> you whispered something. Um, we heard you whisper something. It, it was probably something to do with, with you simping for N. What did you say? Yeah, I was me simping for N. You um, were. Or... And I... Can I join the simping for N too, honey? Yes, please. <sighs> I'm sure I I want you to marry me. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> anyway, back to my list. <clears throat> Yes, so Alder is forgettable, C's tear. Next we have Stevens, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire team. Um, I'm with Kyle on this one. I don't think it doesn't sound nearly as like good as the original was. I think that in some cases it does seem like they try a hard a bit too much. Like like I said before, it's not even it's not even that bad. It's just in comparison to the original, I would rather listen to the original more. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. Next we have uh fuck, I forgot his name. Trace. I haven't even played who? Trace? <laughs> that's his name. Uh the most bless blind. you. Bless you. Trace. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you and say that um, it was just okay too. All I heard was I listened to some bits of it, and all I heard was just a rehash of. Uh, blues like theme yeah it was all right it's literally a remaster of the gen one champion theme yeah like it is but at the same time 
I, I, like, I kind of, like, I kind of, like, like that theme, I, that theme, I feel more than you guys, because it's just, I like how it's, how it's more orchestral than the other gen, uh, gen, uh, than the other Kanto champion themes. Oh, I, like, I, abs I absolutely agree on that bit, but uh, just in context with it, what the, with what's being, or what character is being used on, that's where it kind of gets me. So to me, it kind of suffers the same problem as the Alder has, and that is that it just doesn't stand on its own as, like, what I would consider, like, a champion, like, a champion theme song. Like, that's kind of it. Like, like I said before, it's not, it's not bad. It's not something I would, like, listen to it every day if i'm being honest here that's so true. yes that that that's one c tier for me so now we get to the b tier um yeah in all honesty though i think all of them are they're they're, they're all of them are pretty they're all of them are good I honestly didn't know how to really, really rank them, you know, honestly, so I just put them on the same tier. All right. Yeah. They all sounded pretty... Because, like, they all sounded pretty good to me. All right. Uh, I think I think the original blue and red wasn't as good as I remembered it to be, but, you know, it's still pretty kick-ass. But I, it's not like the same. It, I like it more in um, the remakes. Yeah, that's kind of what I think too. When I listen to the original, uh, it's all right. Like, there's a part of me that kind of wanted to put on the C tier list, but then I just kind of remember, yeah, it does have some standoffish parts that really made it more listenable. That's why it's, it's, it's definitely still good though. Yeah, it is. But I think in this case, this is one of the few cases where I have to say that I prefer the remakes and the remaster a bit more than this. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Um, um, I think that's done with a B tier for me personally. All of them are, all of them are good. Which leaves us to the A tier slots. Both, both Cynthia's Black and White and Black and White 2 uh, are pretty good, I must say. It's not up there. It's not Diamond and Pearl levels of good. See what I did there? But it's still <laughs> really good. Yeah. And yeah, there isn't anything that I can say more about that. It's just so good. Well, that's fair. That's... Yeah, that's Sun and Moon Champion. Uh, yeah, I just listened to it now, and it's a lot better than I remember it to be. Like, which, which one? You really, the champion, the Sun and Moon Champion theme. Oh, battle, yeah. battle at the, the summit. Yeah, yeah, I just listened to it recently, and it's a lot better than I remember it to be. Yeah, it's like so you good. really. I think like, that you... is underrated, in my opinion. It's so good. It's really good. Like, you really get the feeling that you're in that arena. Or you're area you're where... the champion, so you might as well have this theme for you. Yeah, exactly. And that's what makes this theme so... work so well. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. It's so good. The Steven Champion original theme song. Holy hell does this theme kick ass. It's it's a lot better than I remember it to be. Like with the Steven Champion theme song. Absolutely. I felt like when I heard the remake, I didn't get that same feeling of oomph, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas with the original... It's just like, yeah, you're feeling the beat, you're in there, you're, you you get, it's so intense, but so good at the same time. Definitely. So, um, 
Yeah, it's so good. Champion Diane Fast Fiend song. Oh my god, it's so it is like it is so much better than I remember to be. Just like with the Champion Sun and Moon and the Steven yeah. Champion. But um Okay, guys, I would have gladly put it in the S tier. Gladly. <laughs> but because they did the alpha so dirty. In the anime? I don't know, man. Both. I think the only consistent one was... is her mom. I her think the anime mother. messed her up even more, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, she was pretty uh, under. What's the word I'm looking for? She is portrayed as kind of weak. In the yeah, in, I mean, in the games she was kind of weak, but man, the anime mm -hmm. messed up even more. I think but, the only, I, I, I think the, oh, sorry, Kel. I think oh, the uh, only, oh, forgive me, Kel, you can start first. Okay, wait, wait. Before, before, before you go on, I like to say that you should probably rank it on just the music and not the character, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that, I agree. Is, that is me. totally true, and I agree with that. Like, just leave the character aside for this purpose only. Yeah. I agree on that, actually. But anyway, back to, like, the emphasis on the song. I think the reason why I love it so much is just how catchy it is. Definitely. Like, um, like it kind of starts off kind of weird, but then it really, really gets you on the hook. It kind of has the opposite, like, how do, how do I word this? How It kind of has the opposite transition of Alders. Whereas Alders just kind of went weird. Her theme song just kind of starts off weird, but in a good way. And then it turns into something very fantastic. In my pers in my opinion, at least. Mm -hmm. Man, is it, it is so good. It really is. Yeah, I don't think there is really not much else to say. It's so underrated. Iris' champion theme song. Wow, what a step up. Um, it is a step up from Alders. So, so it's, it's like the perfect fit for a champion. Song. Yeah, it's so, it's so cute, so bubbly, but it's also very in your face, so energetic. And it really is, it really, really sets up like, for what you're really, really fighting against, and that's what and that's what makes her theme song so great. Cynthia's theme song is like the original. There's no words to contest. It's so perfect. I think I've done mine. Nice. Yeah. So is that everybody? Uh, not me, but... Did we do Hunt? Did we do Hunt? Right. I'm nope. Getting, I'm getting so sidetracked. Okay, <laughs> so, um, I didn't make a tier list because I was lazy, and, uh, I just did a top ten, and for the rest, I just put them in honorable mentions, but I don't, I don't really hate, um, the ones that are in the honorable mentions. I think they're all pretty good. There's just... I think there's just one I don't care about. All right. Is it older? Is it no, older? I don't. I don't think Alder's theme is bad. I think he has some good moments. It's just forgettable. Yeah, that's kind of what I said too. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go and just post it now. All right. And yes, uh, I won't. You. I won't go through everything because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay. Nice. This is so valid. Pog. Pog. 
based. Yeah, that's everything. I don't really. I listen. I I listen to um the Cynthia team from Black and White too, and Black Black and White, and uh, it's okay. I just prefer the original one. That's totally fair. I mean, I agree with you there. That for sure. Yeah. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Okay. So, uh, with all that said, do we have anything else that we want to talk about tonight? Uh, no, I think I I'm think good. So. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Okay. I... I think we're gonna admit that this episode was a little disorganized, but somehow we made it through anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I uh, I think that's gonna wrap up wrap it up for today. On uh, so that's gonna do it for us <clears> in this <throat> episode of Worth Thinking for tuning in. Until next time, through it all, we're still a family, one training family. <laughs>